Hi, library friends. I'm Miss Vivian, and welcome to Storytime. For today's program, I have stories about paint and how different characters use paint in different ways. Before I share the stories, let's begin with our morning song. First, find your feet way down there. Next, find your knees. Find your shoulders, find your ears, and find your head right at the top. Now let's begin. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet, and we'll stomp, stomp, stomp. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet in the morning. Wake up knees, wake up knees. Wake up knees and we'll tap, tap, tap. Wake up knees, wake up knees. Wake up knees in the morning. Wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders. Wake up shoulders and we'll tap, tap, tap. Wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders. Wake up shoulders in the morning. Wake up ears, wake up ears. Wake up ears and we'll wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up ears, wake up ears, wake up ears in the morning. Wake up head, wake up head, wake up head and we'll pat, pat, pat. Wake up head, wake up head, wake up head in the morning. Very good library friends. Next. Let's sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Let's start at the top. Ready, begin. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, way down there. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears, oh, mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. One more time. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears, oh, mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Very good library friends. Now on to our stories. With permission from Simon & Schuster, I'm very happy to share with you Mouse and Hippo, written and illustrated by Mike Tuhi. In this story, Mouse loves to paint. But what happens when Hippo runs into Mouse? Let's find out. Oh, I see three colors here and a paintbrush. Will you name the paint colors with me? I see red, I see yellow, and what's next? I see blue. Very good library friends. And look, here's Mouse. Mouse is painting and he has his canvas on top of something called an easel. What a beautiful picture. It matches the water. This is Mouse and Hippo. Whoa! Whoops! Excuse me. I had an itch. Your itch was me, and help! I can't swim! Help! 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 I'm sorry I dumped you in the lake. Oh, excuse me. Would you like to open your eyes so you can watch yourself being rescued? I'm sorry I dumped you in the lake. It really wasn't your fault. I should be more careful when I set up my easel. Let 
let me put your painting back on the easel. Wow! This looks just like real water. For saving me, I would like to paint your portrait. I've never had my picture painted before. You can keep it when it's done. Looks like they're going to be friends. I can't wait to see me. What should I do? All you have to do is not move. And please, don't talk while I concentrate. I want to look good. Is this my best side? Be sure to make me look strong. When I smile, I have a little dimple. I'm going to be quiet now. As quiet as a mouse. You're so big that I'm going to use my biggest brush. Gee, you don't really know how big a hippo is until you try to paint one. There, done. You can come look. My paper was too small to fit all of you in. Do you like it? It's awesome! If I use my imagination, my ears are probably way up here and my dimple is right here. I'm sorry, your dimple was higher than my paper. I can't wait to get it home and hang it over my bathtub. You can come over and see it anytime you want. I love my portrait so much, I'd like to paint one of you. No one has ever painted me before either. You can use my paper and my brushes. You are so little that I'm going to use your littlest brush. Okay, stand still. Just like I did and be as quiet as a hippo. It might help you know that I like cheese and I'm a fast runner. Also, my mother says I have beautiful whiskers. Okay, here I go. I'm painting. I bet it's going to be good because you're taking a long time. Can I see it yet? Almost done. All right, you can look now. Do you like it? I love it! You made me look so cute! <laughs> I didn't have a small enough brush to paint your whiskers. It's perfect. I like to hang it over my fireplace. Uh-oh, uh, it's too big for my door. But wait, I have an idea. You can decide where to cut. Mm, there. Does that look like it's going to fit through the door? Let's see. How does it look? It's a little crooked. That's perfect. You can come over and see it any time you want. And that's the end of Mouse and Hippo, written and illustrated by Mike Tuhi. And library friends, you could check out this book or place a reservation whenever you'd like. Thank you. Now here I have my paintbrush and I'm going to put some paint colors on the board. So please name them with me and sing along paint colors. Paint colors, paint colors, this or that. Hold the brush tight or the paint will go splat. What color is this? Red. Very good. 
Let's sing again. Paint colors, paint colors, this or that. Hold the brush tight or the paint will go splat. Now what color is this? White. Very good. Let's sing again. Paint colors, paint colors, this or that. Hold the brush tight or the paint will go splat. What color is this? Yes, it's pink. One more time. Paint colors, paint colors, this or that. Hold the brush tight or the paint will go splat. And what's the name of this color? Yellow. Very good. Paint colors, paint colors. What do you see? Please name the colors with me. I see the color red. I see the color white. I see the color pink. And I see the color yellow. Very good library friends. And boy, what a mess. Now on to our next story. With permission from Simon & Schuster, I'm very happy to share. Edward gets messy. Will you say the letters with me? Let's take a look at, the, at this word messy and say the color, oh, say the letters. Here we go. Letter M, E, S, S, Y. Very good. Edward Gets Messy, written by Rita Mead and illustrated by Olga Stern. And look at all the pink colors dripping all over Edward. Let's find out what this story is about and how Edward gets into this mess. And it looks like this is Edward. Edward is a very particular pig. He detests dirt. He doesn't like dirt. He fears filth. He likes things to be just so. And here he is, tidying up, cleaning everything, the rug. He's fixing the pictures and dusting. Edward never gets messy. Each morning before school, Edward irons his perfectly clean clothes. He tidies his perfectly tidy room until there's not a speck of dust in sight. He vacuums his perfectly sparkling goldfish tank with a special underwater vacuum. Edward is very happy with being very clean, but it's hard work to stay that way. Edward never pets friendly dogs on the street. He never ever eats food that spills or splatters. And he never, ever, ever uses markers or glue sticks or paint. They are just too messy. It sure isn't easy being a particular pig. On the way to school one morning, Edward Edward's friends jump in a big pile of dirty leaves. Crunch, crunch, crunch. But Edward doesn't get messy. He walks on the sidewalk. In Edward's science class, the baking soda, soda volcano erupts into a spraying flow. Boom! But Edward doesn't get messy. He sits at the back of the room. At lunchtime, everyone else at Edward's table eats spaghetti and meatballs. Slurp! But Edward doesn't get messy. He eats a plate of steamed broccoli. On the muddy field outside, Edward's classmates play a game of baseball. Squish! But Edward doesn't get messy. He stays in the stands. Edward has stayed clean for more for most of the day. 
Now there's just one class left. The art teacher gives out paper and paint. Boop. Once again, Edward doesn't get messy. He straightens up the supply shelf, but something goes wrong. What do you see, library friends? What do you think is going to happen next? Plop. Oh dear, splat. To his surprise and his horror. Oh dear. To his surprise and his horror and through no fault of his own. Edward gets messy. Edward is distraught. Edward is devastated. Edward doesn't know what to do. But wait. Hmm. The next day at school, Edward helps the science teacher with her experiment. Oh, library friends, I think Edward has changed his mind about being messy. Out on the muddy baseball field, Edward gets a hit and slides into second base. And on the way home from school, he jumps into that big pile of leaves. Remember that sound? Crunch, crunch. Edward is no longer afraid to pet friendly dogs on the street or eat food that spills and splatters. And he happily uses markers and glue sticks and especially paint. Because now Edward knows that it's okay even for particular pigs to get messy. And look how happy he is. After all, they can always clean up afterwards. And that's the end of this wonderful story about being messy. Edward Gets Messy, written by Rita Mead and illustrated by Olga Stern. Thank you, library friends. Now on to another song, and we're gonna say goodbye to our paint colors here. Red, red is the color I see. If you're wearing red library friends, then clap and say the color with me. Here we go. Red. Very good. Yellow, yellow is the color I see. If you're wearing yellow library friends, then clap and say the color with me. Yellow. Good. Green, green is the color I see. If you're wearing green, library friends, then clap and say the color with me. Green. Blue. Blue is the color I see. If you're wearing blue, library friends, then clap and say the color with me. Blue. Red and yellow, oops, let's do that again. Red and yellow and green and blue, these are all the colors around you. Very good, library friends. Now let's say goodbye to our heart, colorful hearts. Bye-bye colors, bye-bye colors. Bye-bye colors, we'll see you next time. Now on to our last story, with permission from Simon and Schuster. I'm very happy to share with you Blue Goose, written and illustrated by Nancy Toferi. And here we have, again, a paintbrush and paint. How are they going to use their paint? Let's find out. 
blue glue, blue goose. While Farmer Gray was away, Blue Goose, Red Hen, Yellow Chick, and White Duck decided to paint their barnyard. Right now, what color is it? It's all white. Let's check out the changes. White Duck painted the fence white. And Yellow Chick painted all the flowers. What color? Yellow. Very good. Red Hen painted the barn red. Blue Goose painted the roof blue. Blue Goose and Red Hen poured blue and red together to paint the doors together. It makes purple. Very good. Red Hen helped Yellow Chick mix red and yellow to paint the shutters orange. Do you like that combination? Red and yellow make orange. Blue Goose and White Duck painted the sky light blue. Blue with white. Together it makes a light blue. Mixing colors can be so much fun. What about the sun? cried the chick. What about the sun? cried chick. They thought and thought and thought until... Ooh. Duck climbed on goose. Hen climbed on duck. Chick climbed on hen, and the chick painted the yellow sun. Great teamwork. What about the tractor? cried Chick. Red Hen painted it just in the nick of time. It's finished, shouted Blue Goose, Red Hen, Yellow Chick, and White Duck. The barnyard was filled with color. They were ready to say... Surprise to their Farmer Gray. And when it was time for bed, what did Goose do? She painted everything blue. Except for the moon. What color is the moon? It's white. Very good. And all the animals are asleep. Good night. And that's the end of Blue Goose, written and illustrated by Nancy Tafuri. Thank you, library friends. Before we end story time, let's sing two songs. If you're happy and you know it, we'll sing it twice. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Way down there. Stomp, 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 stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! One more time. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're happy and you know, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray. Very good, library friends. One more song. Here we go. This is the way we wash our hands. Wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands all day long. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands all day long. This is the way we wave goodbye, wave goodbye, wave goodbye. This is the way we wave goodbye all day long. A very good library friends. If you're interested in more stories about paint, please visit our website at eglendalac.org. Our summer reading challenge continues, so please visit our website at eglendalac.org. Be sure to register for the summer reading challenge or for 1,000 books before kindergarten or for 500 books before high school. We have upcoming programs, so we have it all listed on our website. Thanks again for joining me today, library friends. Thank you and take care.